Hey, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to do a DIY, a do-it-yourself project. I'm going to show you how to turn this into this. And you may be wondering what this is. Well, stay tuned because I'm going to tell you what it is and I'm going to show you how to make one. You're familiar. You're familiar. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to No Redemption Outdoors, and here we are in the shop again, finally. It is a beautiful, warm day here in Michigan, and you know what? I thought I got to get out in the shop. There's a DIY project I've been wanting to do, and today's the day we're going to do it, and I'm going to bring you along, show you how. Now, those of you who are boaters, you may have experienced uh, when you tie your boat up to a dock and there's a lot of wind and wave action, maybe a lot of weights of other boats going by and so forth, and it can beat your boat up against the dock, something terrible. Well, there's a company out there called Dock Sticks, and they came up with a solution for this. I'll put a little video clip up showing their product. And today I'm going to be a copycat. And I'm going to make my own set of dock sticks. I'm going to call them the No Redemption Outdoors Docking Stick or Docking Sticks. And I'm going to show you guys how to make them for a fraction of what the actual dock sticks cost. And it'll do the same thing. So we're going to take a walk over to the bench and we're going to get started in one second. So come along with me and here we go. All right, first thing we're going to do is just do a quick rundown on the materials that are needed and the tools that you will need. So first things first, we need a length of PVC. And depending how long you want to make your dock sticks, uh, I'm going to make two different sizes. I'm going to make one that's 14 inches and the, and the other will be 16 inches. You can make them both the same size. Just make sure that you get a length of PVC that will be sufficient for whatever length you want to make them. Uh, we need a uh, bungee cord. And in this instance, I have a 48 inch bungee, bungee cord with rubber hooks. Uh, I want the rubber hooks because they will not scratch. And then uh, we have a package of, uh, what do they call these? Uh, rubber leg tips, okay? Now this happens to be one and an eighth inch Oh, by the way, this PVC is one inch PVC. And these are one and an eighth inch. Now I got a package of four of them. As you can see, I've already used two of them. Uh, so that's it. You basically, those are your materials. And then if you want to paint your stick, then get yourself a can of paint. This is Rust-Oleum. I got the, uh, the one that has primer and paint mixed together and it is for plastic. Flat black is what I chose. It's entirely up to you what you want to do. All right, and then as far as tools, obviously you need a tape measure. You need uh, something to cut the PVC. I use a uh, hacksaw, but you can use whatever is, you know, one of those fancy crimping cutters or whatever kind of saw you have. Uh, I got a drill with a half inch bit, and I have a pair of pliers to hang on to this if I need it. I don't know if I will, but, uh, and pencil a length of string, and sandpaper. And that's all the tools you need. And those are the materials. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first, we need to cut our PVC to the length we want. I've already cut one, as you know, so that was the 14 inch one that I made. I'm going to now make one 16 inches. I'm gonna put this in the vise to hold it while I cut it. And using my tape measure and my pencil, I'm gonna go ahead and measure 16 inches here. All right. Now I'll go ahead and cut it. There we go. Set that aside. All right, there you have your PVC. Now, sandpaper is to uh, sand off that rough edge. 
Uh, and I, I sand both the outside and the inside uh, edge, as well as the end of the uh, tube itself. Just trying to make sure there aren't any burrs or anything that will uh, cut into the bungee cord. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Do the other side. All right. That's all I need the sandpaper for. So that, just making sure that it's nice and uh, smooth, no burrs. Yep, there's a little bit of burr there. I'm going to get that off. All right. Now, if you're so inclined, this would probably be the time to go ahead and paint your PVC tube. But, uh, or you may want to go ahead and assemble it first and then disassemble and paint it and then put it back together. It's up to you. But we're going we're gonna to continue on with the uh, construction. I'm not going to paint it right now. All right. Now, these ends are going to fit over this quite tight. And we have to create an opening in these in order for the bungee to pass through. Now, I experimented with different size drill bits to determine which one was the best, and I came up with this half inch size. It seems to work the best. I'll show you in just a second. So this is where I may want to hang on to it. Uh, I don't, you know, <laughs> it wants to spin in your hand. All right, so I'm going to hang on to it so I can drill it. All right, we'll see how this goes. Now, I'm not really pressing all that hard. I want to make a nice, clean cut if I can. So I'm going real slow, not real aggressive. Oh, she wants to spin on me. Oop. Let's see if I can hang on to it. That's exactly what I thought would happen. All right, well, as you see, that is, let's do this from this side, clean it up. Okay, just real slow, just spinning it to clean that up real nice, make a nice edge on there. Okay, there's a bit of a uh, remnant on the back side of it, but that will not affect it. So. You know, if you guys are real particular about how it looks, you can, uh, maybe there's a better way to do it. But the main thing is to have that to be a, a half inch hole, okay? As close to a half inch as you can get it. I'll go ahead and do the other one here. I'm just going to hang on to it with my hand. That seemed to work. go. Now you can clean that up and I probably will get a knife here and clean that up a little bit from this side. I don't like all that those, that remnant there hanging on there. See if I can get it out of there by going in the other direction. There we go. Yep, that's the ticket guys. So just kind of drill it from both sides. All right, there we go. All right, so there are, we've drilled the two end caps. Let me clean up my workspace here. Okay, now let's bring together all of the different parts. All right, now we're going to use our string. And what we want to do first is we're going to have, okay, it's going to be like that. So we're going to put, we're going to bend this in half, try to get it to perfectly in half. I'm going to put this string through, okay. Trust me, this helps. Now, I want this end cap 
in this, oriented in this direction, okay? Because it's going to go on the end like this. And those hooks are going to stick out the end. All right? So I want to put this on just like so. I'm going to go from this side, and I'm going to pull it through. Whoops, 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 whoops. Let's get her back to where we want her. Okay. Now, go ahead and twist those, put them through. <clears throat> Grab hold of it. Now, this way we can leverage to pull that through. All right, I got it lined up. And I'm just going to pull it through like so, and there you have it. And it's nice and tight, and that's what you want. You want that to be snug, okay? That's exactly what I was going for there. All right, now I remove the string momentarily. Go ahead and pull that through one end of the tube. All right, just like so. And at this point, I'll go ahead and... Uh, Put it on, and as I mentioned, it's quite tight, and that's on purpose. And so just kind of, with a little TLC, just kind of work it on there. It's really not as hard as I'm making it look. There it goes. There we go. Now, I'll go ahead and uh, watch the camera there. Work that down. Now, I discovered that if you... If you do that, there's a little snap. It's like it just snaps into place. And you will feel it if you actually do that. You'll know what I mean. And there's a point where you know it just clicked in and it's nice and tight. Okay? Now we have this end here. And so we want to pull it through like that so that this end cap will go on there. So once again, we will get our string. It's a bit frayed. And so I probably will end up having to cut it. Grab a pair of scissors here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, position this string, and I'm going to cut off some of that fray so it isn't going to be as hard to get it through. Probably. Sorry, guys. I just messed up the camera, so... Go ahead and wet that a little bit. Just keep those frayed ends from uh, being so hard to manage because I'm going to now try to work that through that hole there. And uh, here we go. Just about got her. Just like so. All right, so now I have it. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, just like before, I'm going to pull that through. And there we go. I don't need the string now. Go ahead and pull that. Put that on there like before. Okay. And like I say, if you do this, it seems like it goes on there and there's a point where it just kind of, you feel it kind of click right there. And it's like it's seating it. Okay, and just go... All around, you'll feel it, and it's like, man, that's just what you want. So, there, there it is, guys. It's assembled, and now what I'll do is uh, I'll take you over to the boat, and I'll show you how it works, and it's really, really cool. So, uh, come along with me. We'll go over to the boat. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now I'll demonstrate how you use it. Now, I want to show you the finished product. These, I went ahead and painted them. And as you can see, I applied the most important part of all on there, the No Redemption Outdoors sticker. And this makes it official, the No Redemption Outdoors docking stick. So now I'll demonstrate. Uh, you go to the cleat, and you're going to go put this through the cleat like so, all right? And then kind of pull on it and adjust this. That That's why you wanted that end cap to be snug, because that actually holds it there. And then depending on what you're hooking to. Now, I have seen guys hook it to the dock like this at various hook points, uh, hook to a cleat, uh, hook it around a pole, like, like so. Any number of ways that you can do it. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. 
That's how you use the No Redemption Outdoors docking stick. Now let's take a walk back over to the bench because you know this wouldn't be No Redemption Outdoors if we didn't do a value analysis. So follow me, let's go back over and we'll take a look at our value analysis and we'll do our wrap up. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we go with our value analysis. Now I wanna point out that all of the parts that I um, used for this project, I did acquire at my local hardware store. I just walked in, bought it off the shelf. So my thought is that if you were to go online and really you know, make an effort, you could probably buy these things much cheaper than I did. But frankly, even at what I paid, I don't know how you beat it. So let's go through it. The PVC I bought at 50 cents a foot. So based on uh, the, the docking sticks that I just made, they were uh, average 63 cents each or $1.26 for the pair. The rubber end caps, I bought that as a four pack for $4.60. That's a buck 15 a piece, $2.30 for the pair. The bungee, 48 inch bungee came as a uh, group of two for eight bucks. So that was $4 each, obviously. Now the spray paint I think was like $4 for the can and I don't know how much we used. We didn't use very much. So I just figured 50 cents worth for one or a buck for both. Of course the NRO sticker is priceless. And that brings our total ladies and gentlemen per stick to $6.28 or $12.56 for the pair. Now, if you go online and you find docking sticks available, I, the dock sticks, I'm sorry. If you go online and find the dock sticks, uh, they are $79.99 retail. Obviously, that's 40 bucks a piece. The savings by making them yourself, $67.44 for a pair. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that's a value and that's worth doing. And trust me, you can do this. this the, the difficulty scale on this one to 10, um, it was one. It was really super easy. So I guarantee any one of you guys can do this. And if you put your dock, I'm sorry, if you put your boat next to a dock, especially if there's a lot of wave action and so forth, these things are great. So well worth the effort, well worth the cost. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I would say that's worth a subscribe, wouldn't you? Certainly it's worth a thumbs up. If you like this video, drop down below hit that thumbs up and that subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell while you're at it. Well, one more time, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me today in the shop. And until we meet again, this is No Redemption Outdoors. Take care. <laughs> Yeah, it's a Mali, I'm